What's up guys, Your Elements here once again and today I am giving you three reasons why the Red V Raptor does not tickle my fancy. The number one on my list is, is it essential? Do we really need the V Raptor? As much as it has that high frame rate, it has that high resolution, do we really need it? Now, the question you have to ask yourself as a creative is, is it something that fits within your work needs? Is it something that you need? Because the price tag on this camera, which is 24,000 pounds, yes, it's cheaper than the previous DSMC2s and red cameras prices are coming down. However, do you really need that high frame rate in your workflow? Do you really need the 8K in your workflow? There are many cameras that are actually still relevant in this current generation. As we speak, you have the Red Scarlet W, you have the Epic W, you have um, the Monstro 8K, you have the Helium 8K. There's so many lineup of red cameras out there that are currently very, very relevant. But yet, we find ourselves having to get rid of that, lose the money that we um, invested in it, and then dash that money back into red for a new gear that has just been released. Now, another thing is that high frame rate, we know that these cameras, specifically, for example, the Monstro 8K, the 8K Helium, and now the V-Raptor, those cameras are for high budget movies, are for high end film production. Now, how often do you see a scene that's been filmed in 600 frames? Or better yet, how often do you see a scene that's been filmed higher than 120 frames per second? So. Um, besides the fact that that is a strategy of selling gear to us, we have to know where we are working. We have to know what our needs are when it comes to camera gear. Um, we know that the YouTubers want the high frame rates for B-roll and so on and so forth, but would you actually that's um, 24,000 pounds just because of B-roll sequence. Whilst you can get that out of a Komodo, which is 6,000 pounds, or even a Sony FX7 or FX6, or even um, a previous generation of the RED cameras, if the R3D is what you like. And another thing is the resolution. The resolution, there is no comparison to what we already have, as much as there is a 6K, 4K, 8K, Monstro that's already out there, you know, um, and we know the flexibility of being able to move things around, crop in and zoom in and slide in and whatnot with that high resolution. The final content, the final content is consumed in HD. Our client, we're delivering these files in HD to them. How often do we deliver full 8K or full 6K to our client? It doesn't happen. So really and truly, do we need that? Whilst our clients are still viewing these content in HD computers and TVs at home. So is it really relevant when it comes to the high frame rate and resolution? Is it what we need? Is it worth that £24,000 price tag? Now, number two is RED has a strategy of releasing their cameras. Now, if you're familiar with that, that's fine. If not, here is a hint. So they have released the V-Raptor 8K and they have announced the V-Raptor XL and then they are saying there is going to be a lineup of DSMC3 coming out. So what's going to happen is the V-Raptor is released, £24,000, you dash your money at it, now wait, you dash your money at it and you have to sit back and physically wait for a good few months, sometimes even one year before you get your hands on your camera. Now, by the time you get your hands on the camera, the V Raptor XL has been released. So you get only so much time to actually physically use the gear that you have purchased six months, eight months, one year ago to use. And then the new one is out. Now you want the new one. So you sell your V Raptor, you bought it for 24,000 pounds as a base price, you probably bought a few more gear to make it work, and then you sell it for probably for 20, 18, 19,000 pounds, lose out, and dash the money back onto the XL. And you get the XL, you wait for a few months before it gets delivered, by the time it gets delivered, you get your hands on, then you have the DSMC3 lineup out there, which is potentially going to be a lot cheaper. Now you're thinking, okay, that frame rate thing, was it worth it? Uh, that 8K thing, was it worth it? 
now I want to sell my Excel and get a DSMC3. So it's a business. They have a strategy to make money. That is their goal. That is their aim. And we are the one that's feeding their banks. So just take a moment and think about it. Is it worth it because of the high frame rate and because of the resolution? Is it worth switching from your current Scarlet W, from your current Epic W, your Monstro AK, your Helium? Is it worth selling those cameras and then switching on to what they call a new lineup of cameras. And then finally, as I mentioned through this explanation, the delivery time of red cameras. Um, we know that they built the camera and then shipped them out. They don't build a mass and store them. So um, do you actually have that time to sit back, order a camera, put 24,000 pounds into a camera, um, which is the base price. I mean, if perhaps they will sell you a V-mount battery and a few cards and so you probably spend around 25, 26, 28,000 pounds and then you just sit back for a year and wait for it to be delivered. Is it actually logical? Is it something that actually um, you see yourself doing? I have gone through that with the Red Komodo and it was not pleasant. So that's it for me. I hope this little video gives you an insight and helps you in deciding whether the V-Raptor is a camera for you or the XL or whether you should actually hold on to what you currently have and continue to create. So stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.